let's get going on the assignment. Now, I know this looks like a lot of problems, and it is, but it's just really good practice, and it will really help you become with, familiar with the unit circle. By the time you get done with this, you will feel so confident with the unit circle. So grab your worksheet and grab a completed work, uh, unit circle. And if you want, there is one on Canvas on the um, a, a lesson page that is a unit circle that is completely filled out. It has degrees, it has radians, and it has the coordinates. I kind of prefer it because I can read it better than the one that I wrote with my own handwriting. So if you want to print one of those out and stick that in your notebook, you are welcome to do that. So have one of those handy, and we're going to look at starting with the guided practice part on the assignment. So it says, evaluate the sine of 30. Now, I can't really point to the unit circle, so I'm just going to explain what I would look at. So on the unit circle, I would find 30 degrees, and then I would look at the coordinates. The coordinates are square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. Since it's the sine, I know that it's the y coordinate, so the answer is 1 half. Cosine of 330, so all the way around in quadrant 4 is 330 degrees. The coordinates are square root of 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. I want the cosine, which is the x value, so that's negative 3 over 2. Tangent of 180, well 180 is the point, and I'm just going to write this so we have it as a reference, negative 1, 0. Well, I know that the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. We also discovered that that is the y value over the x value. And 0 over negative 1 just reduces to 0. So the tangent of 180 is 0. The sine of negative 135. So you could find 135 and then flip down across the x-axis down to the angle 225. Or you could think of it like, well, negative 135 is going count, uh, clockwise from 0 over to 225. Either way, you're going to get the coordinate of negative square root of 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2. So we're looking for the sine, which is the y value. So it is negative square root of 2 over 2. Tangent of 300. Find angle 300, the coordinates are 1 half, negative square root of 3 over 2. And the tangent, again, is the y value, which is negative square root of 3 over 2, over the x value, which is 1 half. Now, how do you divide a fraction by a fraction? You take the second one, flip it, and multiply. The 2's cancel out, so you have negative square root of 3 over 1, or just negative square roots of 3. The next part is some independent practice and this is also to get you thinking about um, there's a typo right there it's only supposed to be 100, 210 degrees. Get you thinking about the other trig functions of cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So, um, you know, however you want to think about it, I just kind of like to make a little note to myself. Cosecant is the same as the inverse of the sine. So I write 1 over the sine of theta, which then tells me that I'm going to take the sine and do the inverse of that. So I find 210 degrees, just like we did in the guided practice. Its coordinates are negative square root of 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. I want the sine, so negative 1 half, but I want the inverse of that, so I want 1 over negative 1 half, which is just the reciprocal of that bottom fraction, which then just becomes a negative 2. Now the secant is 1 over the cosine, so I find negative 30, which is the same as positive 330. Its coordinates are square root of 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. I want the cosine, which is square root of 3 over 2, but I want the inverse of that. So I want 1 over the square root of 3 over 2, which is 2 over square root of 3, which then if we rationalize the denominator, we end up with 2 
square roots of 3 over 3. Cotangent of 270. The coordinates are 0, negative 1. The cotangent is 1 over the tangent. Well, the tangent is y over x, so the inverse of that would be x over y. So it would be 0 over negative 1, which then is just 0. The secant is 1 over the cosine of 90, so I find 90 degrees. The cosine of 90 is 0, so 1 over 0 would then be undefined. So the secant of negative or of 90 degrees is undefined. And last, the, co the tangent of 120, you find 120. The coordinates are negative 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. I'm going to put the y coordinate on top. And then I'm going to put the x coordinate on the bottom. And I'm going to invert and multiply. The 2's cancel out. I end up with negative square root of 3 over 1, or just negative square root of 3. Now, as a word of caution, notice I have quite a bit of work here. I didn't just write the answers down because I had to figure these out. So I would expect the same thing on your assignment and also on any test. If all I see is the answer, you're not going to get full credit. So just a word of caution on that. All right, the rest of the paper is for your practice. So some practice for you. Please do this work on your own. Try it out before you look at the answer key. But the answer key is there. It's available for you to check your answers. I love to be able to check my answers as I go along just to make sure I'm doing everything right. So I get that, that it's really helpful to you. But please try it on your own first. All right, good luck with the assignment.